holiday and welcome back. Now, it was through a good friend, Janae Uggen, that I found out about former Guam resident, Rain Valdez. The 36-year-old is a trans actress making her mark in Hollywood. Here's more. Hi, I'm Rain Valdez. I'm an actress, filmmaker, writer, and uh, producer. Valdez, born in the Philippines, was raised in Guam, eventually graduating from Simon Sanchez High School in 1998. At 19, she left Guam for LA to pursue her burning passion for acting and work to hone her craft. Acting was something she knew she wanted to do at an early age. I was watching a lot of TV with my family and I was very inspired by um, some of the shows that we were watching. You know, I wanted to be a Charlie's Angel. Um, I loved Whoopi Goldberg in all her stand-up comedy and her movies. Um, I thought that she was really funny and I wanted to be that funny and that entertaining. For the next several years, the former Dedito resident said she did an array of independent and short films which sadly never saw the light of day. She also had a residency at BuzzFeed and was able to write and create videos. The 36-year-old gained experience working in post-production for several films and is even involved with the critically acclaimed Amazon series Transparent. A project Valdez is extremely proud of is a movie called Ryan's, which she wrote, directed, and starred in. Ryan's is a very personal story to me. It's, you know, it's a little bit autobiographical, but it's also my favorite. It's a, it's a rom-com and it's my favorite genre, um, which stars, you know, a trans woman, me, and the character is also a trans woman. And that, that was an uh, important story for me to tell in a genre where in the past, trans women were always depicted very negatively. We were, you, you know, usually we were the butt of the joke or we were outed and fetishized and then and then sometimes vilified. The short film has generated quite the buzz, earning official selection honors at several film festivals to include Outfest, the Barcelona International LGBT Film Festival and Awareness Festival. I wanted to sort of break that barrier. I want it to be something to show Hollywood and you know, like, hey, you know, this is how you can portray a trans woman in a positive light, which is something that we haven't seen. We've only seen the opposite of that. Um, so it's very important to me, and and I'm very excited that it's been doing really well in the film festival circuit. When asked how she felt about the rise in trans actors and actresses in Hollywood... I think it's very important. I think, you know, we're not just... One, we're not all the same, and I think it's important for the world to see um, different representations of trans actors and actresses. And so I think it's great that the numbers are growing. I think that Hollywood is finally opening up in a way that more roles are available for us. And it's exciting because we've been around for a really long time. I, I hope that it gets to a point where we get media roles and roles that are more challenging that aren't necessarily trans-centric, but just something more, you know, challenging and juicy and fun. Valdez was recently cast for a recurring role in season two of the TV Land series Lopez, starring comedian George Lopez, that aired on the network March 29th, or tonight for us Guamis. She'll play Coco, who Valdez describes as kind of a diva, but was a character who she could relate to. One of the lines that Coco says to George is, I'm not here to be your token, which is a very important line because, you know, a lot of a lot of shows or Hollywood tends to, in, in the past, tend to tokenize us and kind of just sort of parade us around as like the trans character of the show or, or just be a part of a plot line. And so it was important for me when I was reading the script that this character was actually speaking from her own voice and her own heart um, and that's something that I thought the writers did a very good job on. How is it working alongside the longtime comedian? George has been amazing. Most of my scenes are with George and um, we have a lot of fun on set. We do some improv and um, he's very complimentary with my work also. He'll tell me that was really good and I really appreciate that um, coming from someone you know, with George's experience, it's it's important to get that validation as a, you know, a young actress. And what does the future have in store now that the shooting for Lopez has ended? Well, I'm back on Transparent. I work behind the scenes for Transparent as a producer. 
Um, so that will keep me busy till about the end of the month. And um, I'm working on a show called, um, I'm, it's in development right now, but I'm working on a show called Girls Like Us, which is sort of like a sex in the city meets girls, but with trans women. And um, it's a little bit based on some of my experience um, coming out as trans here in LA. As for what advice she give to those looking to get into show business. If it's something that you're passionate about, my suggestion would be, you know, make a plan and surround yourself with people who love you and support you. And um, if LA or New York is your goal or your just, you know, your destiny, then make an actual realistic plan on how you're going to get there. For more on Rain, check out her website at rainvaldez.com. You can also find her on Facebook and on Instagram. Stick around because we have more on the 25th anniversary of the Onward Beach Resort. You're watching In The Mix.